Hello YouTube. I got another package in today from Knife Center and I'm going to go ahead and open it up with the Native 5 Salt in MagnaCut. Pretty sure I know what's in here. I've got a good guess. Okay, so I've got two packages in this box. This first one is kitchen cutlery from Ontario Knives. This is part of their Agilite line. This is a set of steak knives. Looks like Ultem, but it's not. Um, it's another thermoplastic. These were on sale for National Knife Day. 14C28N blade steel. Should be pretty good. Alright, so these are just kind of incidental. The main event here is uh, the Spider Co. We've got the Atlantic Salt. From Spyderco's Seki City, Japan facility. This is in LC200N. And this is Plain Edge. Right. So, um, a little stiff. The uh, Atlantic Salt was and still is available in uh, H1, well now it's H2 steel, um, and it's you, most of the time you see these you're going to encounter them in serrated edge for a couple of reasons. One is uh, these are intended for marine use and of one of the big applications for a knife in that environment is for cutting rope and the serrated edge is good for cutting rope. But the other reason that you typically see these H1 and H2 knives in uh, serrated edge is because uh, the steel is pretty soft and doesn't hold an edge all that well. So uh, with a plain edge you would dull it out pretty quickly and it would be useless. Uh, with a serrated edge, at least you can still sort of saw through things, even once it's a little dull. Um, so, the uh, advantage of having LC200N, as opposed to H1 or H2, is that it's similarly oblivious to corrosion, probably not quite as corrosion resistant as H1 and H2, but nearly. Um, but it's a much harder steel. LC200N can be hardened up to, I think, around 60 on the Rockwell scale, and uh, will hold an edge for a respectable time. But these are discontinued. These have just been discontinued as of August 2023. Uh, and so I picked this one up on a sale. Now I don't know, so the, what did not get discontinued is the H2 version. So you can still get something with a yellow handle and a serrated edge in H2. Um, but I'm speculating 
that maybe the reason that the LC200N stuff is getting discontinued is because they're going to be releasing more MagnaCut knives in the salt line. MagnaCut, like H1, H2, and LC200N, is nearly impervious to corrosion. Uh, it's not quite as uh, corrosion resistant as H1 and H2, but it's darn close. Um, it's uh, very unlikely that you'll see any rust on a magna cut knife. Uh, and like LC200N, um, it has better uh, edge retention than H1 and H2, but it's also even tougher and harder than LC200N. So if they were to develop a magna cut version of this knife, it would be superior uh, in most ways to the LC200N version. Uh, now you do get straight plain edges with H1 and H2 steel sometimes. Here's a uh, Pacific Salt that's got a plain edge H1. And these things are just pretty lousy. They, they do not hold an edge very well at all. So it would be a shame if this goes away and doesn't get replaced by something. My hope is that the, since Spyderco is discontinuing the LC200N, it's because they're planning to replace it with MagnaCut. Um, the uh, salt line includes a lot of serrated knives like this Tasman. Uh, but it's, it's less common that you'll see something that's a plain edge. Um, and they, do, they did have a, a plain edge Atlantic, or sorry, a Caribbean salt knife, which was made in Taiwan, not in Japan. Um, I think those got discontinued as well. And then the other LC200N, uh, other place you'll see LC200N showing up besides the salt line is in... Um, the Spidey Chef, uh, which is an LC200N. Um, as far as I know, those are still being made um, and still being made in LC200N with titanium handle scales. Um, LC200N is a pretty good knife for kitchen duty, partly because of its edge retention and toughness, but mainly because of its uh, imperviousness to staining. Um, this knife has a, uh, a little shackle key built into the handle and of course is brightly colored so that you can see it underwater if you were to drop it. Um, sheep's foot profile, which is good on a boat so that you don't accidentally drop it on your foot or something and stab yourself. Uh, it also makes it useful in rescue applications. You can get it underneath a seat belt or something like that without stabbing the person that uh, you're trying to help. Um, <clears throat> all these salt series knives, not only the blade, but the other metal components are also designed to be rust resistant. Uh, all the hardware, clip, everything is uh, either a very corrosion resistant steel or it's black coated or both. Um, really good ergonomics here. The, um, the Atlantic Salt is sort of its own beast in terms of its design. The uh, Pacific Salt is basically an Endura uh, that's been modified a little bit. Um, this Tasman is basically a Delica, and the Native 5 is a Native 5. But, um, yeah, I'm Glad to have this at a reasonable price. Uh, could be a good everyday carry knife. Good for a lot of general tasks. And um, would not require a lot of maintenance. All right.